We are the Kingdom of Poland. We are King Mateus of Poland. We actually have quite a good stewardship, given that we don't have any traits at all, which is quite nice. We have recently, recently taken over at uh, the Kingdom from our late great father, King Samowit. Um, we are a complete Kingdom of Poland. Obviously, our goal with this run is really just to have fun and explore the new DLCs. Uh, the key goals, I think, for Mateus's reign, primarily, are we are still tribal. We would quite like to not be tribal. So I think we work towards not being tribal. So that's a key thing for us here. And generally developing out the kingdom and our territories in particular. So a bit of an eco period. Um, that's quite critical for us because we're going to take a big financial hit when we go feudal. So ideally we want to make sure that A, we've got lots of money in the bank so that we can quickly upgrade buildings, and B, that we have pushed things like all of our tribal holdings to rank 2. So we'll do a bit of that. That does mean we're going to need to focus on learning and economy primarily. I'd also like to take this as our first real opportunity to start exploring some of the legend side of things. The Bear Slayer. Nice. Um... It seems a nice time to start having a look at some legend stuff. So I think maybe maybe we should. Yep, stop being tribal. Do not start dying a plague. That is exactly what we're trying to do here. Um, so, uh, grab the three to the north. I mean, we could do. Do we really want to? I mean, we can... We're not really playing a massively expansionist game here. So, I mean, we could grab them. We seem to own a chunk of Bohemia. Is there any of actual Kingdom of Poland that we haven't got yet? Oh, yeah, we need that part there. I think we're good mates of Greater Moravia at the moment, though, aren't we? We're not allied to them. He's got good allies, though. He is allied to Prince Predslav of Great Moravia. Is that just like Spider-Man pointing at each other? Yeah, that um, East Frankia alliance is a big blocker for us. If it wasn't for that, we'd probably... I mean, we could take him, but... I don't see it as a massive priority. I think what we want to do is watch for him to have issues. So chat, at the very least, keep an eye out for King Mojimir dying for me. Being landlocked is generally seen as a disadvantage, don't know if it's true. Says. Less so in CK3, because ultimately it's not massively about the eco-development in terms of, say, forming trade links. The primary thing you do get as a benefit on coastal places is they are going to have the ability to build up trade and dev. But given that we probably wouldn't be controlling these places directly, that's less useful for us versus, say, really pushing in Krakow. So I don't think it's a bad idea for us to grab them. And none of them have alliances. But what we're going to end up doing is putting a duke in charge of the whole region, which I think they are all part of the Kingdom of Pomerania. So, I mean, essentially it's Pomerania and Pomerania. So we could do it. I mean, we do have a chunk of it already. You have a cellar of plenty legend seed. Is that a reference to the plenty of children stuck down there? We don't send children to the dungeon. On his son's seventh birthday, Piast the Wheelwright was visited by two strangers. As thanks for his hospitality, the strangers cast a spell, making the Piast cellar eternally full. So if we've got gold, we could do that. Um, we need to be illustrious as well. We are coming up to distinguished. Um, Alexandra, how would you feel about being our court chronicler? She is on search for legends, so we'll see if she can find us some more legends. Um, we can ransom some prisoners. Borsywall, off you go, lad. We can pardon achieve ten and lawfully imprison one. We are not endorsed by our archbishop. We are swaying him, so that's good. 
Factions don't have any against us at the moment. Council, everyone loves us. Uh, Mar even our marshal's coming around to us, and he didn't like us before. So that's good. Um, domestic affairs, bestow royal favour we could do. Maybe. He is very good. But he's also giving us a massive boost in direct vassal opinion, so I feel like we shouldn't do that. Legend seeds are really expensive. I uh, like feasts. They scale with rank. So we are paying king's prices for them. Whereas if we were a duke, we would be paying less. So that's just something to remember, is they do scale with rank. We do have a bunch of things. We could create a couple of duchies. We probably should be doing this. Because we are getting it cheap because we're tribal at the moment and we're ceremonious and it gives us legitimacy and prestige if we're creating Silesia who are we giving it to? that becomes the question we could give it to our brother-in-law that feels like a bit of a no-brainer it's going to like us more anyway make him like us more anyway there is a matrilineal marriage you can tell by the little blue bit so that means that they are going to have kids and have had kids of our dynasty. So that would put Silesia into our dynasty in the long term. I think that's a bit of a no-brainer. So let's do that. So we create the Duchy of Silesia. And let's give it to uh, our brother-in-law. Oh shit, are we a witch? That's a shocking re uh, revelation that we didn't know. So, congrats. You are now in charge of Silesia. So that leaves the only uncreated tight is Vistuliana which is one of the ones we're going to keep, isn't it? Yeah, because that's Krakow. So we, again, we do actually just need to want, like, create that. Uh, we did lose our bodyguard. We have been invited to a hunt. I feel like we probably should, he does like us a lot. We may not arrive in time. But that might depend on... Well, we've got a caravan master. Don't think there's anything else we can do that would... Oh, mercenary guards would speed us up a bit. Still wouldn't arrive in time, though. Bring medical equipment. That's interesting. That's a new one. That reduces your plague danger quite substantially. Yeah, we'd need superior mounts, and um, we don't have courier stations anywhere. That might be quite nice to get, courier stations. Right, so we can't make that in time, so that's fine. Wonder if we should do a university visit. If we were doing a university visit, where would we go? could potentially be quite useful for us. Do we want to be doing university visits or pilgrimages with this rulers? I mean ultimately we need to be generating prestige because we need prestige to level up our buildings here. Like that's a tribal two. We need to get that up to Tribal 2, which means we need some prestige. I've seen some streamers encounter the plague and having hospice really helps. Yeah, we will be building hospices in, in key cities. I, I just remember from CK2 that you do not fuck around with plagues. You make damn sure you've got your plague buildings in place. Um, we will do that. 
we have finished to convert faith. Faith conversion is going pretty well, actually, which is good. We increase control anywhere matters to us. Not particularly. In which case, let's put them on manage royal guards. More dev in Krakow, which is good. Right, we can create another title, so let's create that. That's going to make people like us slightly less, because now we're holding three duchies, but, I mean, that's fine. We're going to carry on doing that, so that is basically the norm. You vote for Uppsala too. I don't think we can do Uppsala. Oh no, university we probably could. Uh, general reminder chat, by the way, I obviously you're not going to get official streams for the next couple of weeks because I'm away. Um, but within that, um, I might do some streaming from abroad if I've got the internet connection to do it. But a reminder that at the end of this week, I will be in Vienna. So if anyone is in Vienna and fancies a drink, just uh, drop me a whisper. That would be probably Thursday or Friday. Um, on Sunday and Monday, I will be in Berlin. So if anyone fancies a drink in Berlin, again, similarly, just hit me up. Because I'll be doing the overnight sleeper train from Vienna to Berlin on the Saturday evening. Um, I will be in Kiel on Tuesday night, so if anyone is near Kiel, they are also welcome to ping me and ask for a drink. I'm always happy to, to join people for a drink. And then uh, that will be on Tuesday evening. And then obviously, uh, so this is the weekend after this weekend. Um, so next, not this Tuesday, but Tuesday after, I will be in Kiel. Um, I will then be doing the overnight ferry up to Gothenburg. Uh, and I might try and stream from the ferry, because it is quite cool as you go up all that way during the night. Um, but um, I just point the camera out of my cabin window and stream it that way. But I will also then be in Gothenburg for Gothcon, the gaming festival. Uh, flying back on on the Monday, the bank holiday, Easter Monday. So I am will be with friends doing bits, but if anyone is around and desperately fancies a pint in Gothenburg, I'm sure we can find some way of doing it on Thursday night. So, yeah. Um, hit me up. Assuming Deutsche Bahn isn't striking again, of course. Yeah, I mean, that that's, that's a potential, and that's a potential problem. Uh, this is also why I make sure I leave lots of time to get between places. Because um, the last thing you want is to get caught somewhere. But uh, if Deutsche Bahn is uh, out of action when I need to get from Berlin to Kiel, um, then that'll be a fun, interesting exercise in working out what my alternatives are. So, but yeah, if anyone's around and wants to do any of those things, just um, drop me a whisper or drop me a message in other formats. You know where I am on platforms, Discord mainly. Ping me on Discord. Don't forget to join my Discord if you like cool things. Uh, Boot up for Magic on instead. Nice. Right, so. We should now, I think priority is, let's get our tribal holdings up to twos. So we just need the gold on that. Right, he's now endorsing us, which is good news. I think we'll leave him on doing that. Um, do we want to be friends with this dude? Hello, kitty. How you doing? That's orange juice. You don't like orange juice. Uh, I would gain 96 stress. How about we don't do that? Really quite like him to not have that alliance. Let's pin that one as well. 
Basically, if either of those two men die, we're golden. Uh, we can ransom him. And we do have a Royal Court event. The pageantry of court continues. Oh, I'm just getting distracted, am I? can spend court grandeur to lose a bunch of stress. I'll use that one. Hello. There are people downstairs. Is that what it is? And you want to be up here. Hello. No, that's you can't bite my hand. I need that hand for doing things. Kitty is very clearly holding my hand and not letting me move it. Which is awkward as she's on the window sill. So. Uh, oh yeah, we're getting we're getting a lot of stress because of Daddy. I know. We have serious daddy issues. We probably want to keep an eye out for someone's feast or hunt we can join. Uh, who are you? The Palabians want to... Yeah, we'll go for that. We don't have any desire to attack Palabia, so why not? Hello. Are you going to sit on the... Are you going to give good people kitty cam? That's good of you. Let me wake the camera up. She knows what her public wants. Our brother-in-law really likes us now. That's good. Don't need that up. Ask to promote legend. Interesting. Oh, he wants to be known as the bear slayer. Yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, we'll tell everyone how you uh, caught a bear. Why not? Considered a master. Firstly, we can recruit her for three. It is going to stress us out. I think she would make a good thingy. Started on my France Africa run in eight sixty. Just close the dates, then watch the plague slowly go away, and it caused a minimal amount of chaos as I watched surrounding three areas get consumed by it. Just had titles switch hands. That was good. Yeah, I really like how plagues can play out, and we will sponsor her. And she would probably be a good appointment. So we could do with an antiquarian. We could definitely do with a... Builder. Less fussed about that at the moment. Like, I don't want to eat into our funds too much. We will appoint her an artificer. Don't think we really definitely need anyone else. Like, an antiquarian is nice. It's not a lot of money. 
feel like our court physician probably shouldn't hate us. I couldn't resubscribe until I saw the sandwich ad and now I am hungry. Oh, you got sandwich ad, did you? Nice. And thank you very much for the resubscription. Um, don't really want to be a drunkard. We'll just lash out at that dude. Culture acceptance between Pomeranians is probably quite useful for us if we are going to invade that area. That comes down to whether we are going to take that area. I possess something truly unique. So we're not generating a bad amount of gold, really, given what we are. I think as long as we keep pushing down the stewardship stuff. Like, we could... Maybe we should flip to learning for a bit. But I think we probably need to just finish out the stewardship bits. Well, he managed to get himself known as the Bear Slayer. Good for him. Kubson, 22. Thank you very much for the follow. You're better than the other 21 Kubsons before you. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches always sound odd to British people because obviously we use the word jelly for a different thing. Like, we use it for what I think Americans call pudding. So it always just sounds like you're having some kind of weird pudding sandwich rather than just a jam sandwich that you happen to mix some peanut butter into because you're all freaks. Um, yeah, fine, have more money. I mean, we do need artifacts, good artifacts, because they get us the um, achievement. Uh, our betrothed is almost of age. We are marrying a Welsh lady. No, we lost our good marshal. That's annoying. Um, he's very good. Sure. I know you fucking hate us. Have you considered converting? I mean, he'll probably be dead soon, so... And I assume the hook he's just used it to stay on my council, which is absolutely fine. Is that not just bread pudding? I don't know. What What is the American for, like, our type of jelly? Jello. Uh, don't, oh, do we really want to go to a grand tournament? We're not very good at fighting. Or speaking. Or doing basically anything. So I don't think that's really in our economic interests. So this is the key goal. We want to do. We want to click this button. We're not far off it. Um, who are you, dude in charge of Kiev? I'm good, thanks. Really need that. Um, we should probably do a grand marriage here, shouldn't we? Wait, is he now not accepting this? Queen Angharad's faith does not... Is she married already? Oh, she married us. What? 
Didn't we get a wedding option? Where was our wedding option? The prestige is probably more useful to us. I suppose you must have to choose it at the time. Can the owner of a saddle from Kurgan? Which is a minor... Mo yeah, I think we'll go respect the dead. I don't think it's worth it. Um... We could definitely do with an air. I feel like we should have an air. Like, why are our sisters not our air? Is this male only? The male preference. Oh, our nephew is our air. Right, don't die then. Um, honey, you appear to be pregnant. It's weird how wives get really annoyed if you say, is it mine, when you tell them you're pregnant, they're, when they tell you they're pregnant. I assume we can't make that in time. You got to a level two. Now I assume that Poznan is already a level two. Yes. So Niesno would be. Oh, hey, look, we took Danzig. Well, Kadansk. Yeah, we have a we have a Danzig corridor next to Prussia. Nothing has ever gone wrong with Poland having a Danzig corridor. Currently playing a Turkish eagle run and witnessed the Basileus, his wife, and all four children killed by a plague within a month. Yeah, you absolutely do need more kids around. I mean, she is prego, so that will help. Oh, oh, no, he's not one of the kings. No idea who he is, but he's dead. Okay. I won't execute you. <laughs> By God, this party is boring. Westerbor has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can mortal men be expected to endure this snoring celebration of mediocrity? My eyes cast around the room looking for a diversion. Any diversion. In the corner, Ratislav right, uh, stares at daggers at me. I've got to do something to stop this evening dragging. If someone barred the doors, this place would burn easily. I mean, we do need to lose a lot of stress. That does deal with our stress problem. Shall we commit arson, chat? Only the guests, people we care about. Well, I guess we'll find out. Ah, stress-free lifestyle. Honey, can you have a good kid, please? Marla's Dagger. 
Prowess 6, Scheme Secrecy 8, Personal... That's pretty good, to be fair. That's not bad. It's certainly better than our uh, existing thing. How about you get destroyed for some money? Uh, he's very competent. He wants to weave something. Sure, go for it, dude. So we could make our wife like us. Get a bunch more prestige. Get some renown. Renown is always nice. I think our wife liking us would probably be quite useful. Uh, Kenagunda! Kenagunda. Kenagunda? Um, you are very average. Learn her language? Oh, well, we'd have to talk to her. Nice. Um, we should probably get a language tutor if we're going to do that. That's not a good steward. He's actually pretty decent, so that's fine. Give me some large levies. My lord, I have a magnificent inspiration. I want to weave something, anything, indeed. Ah, should we stop getting stressed because of our daddy issues? Wet nurse? Yeah, I mean, when we get a good kid. Kinda hoping that's not the only kid we have. I really can't afford to do that, so. Um, ugh. We're gonna have to host a party, aren't we? Rakov's coming along in dev. And my mother is being helpful. I'm sure that won't end badly. Is it really our kid? I suspect it's not our kid. To be honest. Um, he's a powerful vassal and he's not bad. So that's fine. Stops him plotting against us if nothing else. Might take just the minor boost on learning. It's not really a lot adding a lot of value to us apart from that. So, oh, hunt invitation. Can we make it in time? A lot of hunts, we can't make it in the time. That would be a no. Uh, a fine tapestry, I suppose. Thanks, Balthazar. It's better than no tapestry. Guess. So there is that. That's well, quite nice, but... Stealth carpets, yeah. Can we make yours? We can make your hunt. Where is your hunt? I mean, is it literally in the same place as we are? No, no, it's, it's over there. Okay. It's not far away then. Is there anyone else we can visit? On the way back? We could do a long loop.
It's fine, just fine. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to the chat, Thirling Drone. Gonna love when any of your council members want to kill each other, even when they have the loyal trait. Yep, always good. Um, let's just go to the hunt. Let's do some hunting. Way, we can speak to our wife now. That's nice. We're going after some pheasants with our hawks. Back on your horse. I feel like we're going to fail at this hunt. I don't have high hopes. Called it. We did lose a bit of stress though, so that's good. Um, should we send out for a wet nurse? Send out for a wet nurse. I feel like we've expanded. Why are vassals so bad at hunts? They do seem to generally be quite bad at hunts, it's true. I've noticed that. And uh, Zaja, she's 34 and is good, so we will pay to a pointer. Right, so next is getting that up to a tribal two. Being obsessed with vengeance. And stress is really our problem, isn't it? You're a very stressy person. Can someone host a feast? Quite like to go to a feast. Uh, holding tax is boosted in Poznan for 30 years. Holding tax is boosted. I will go with that. Right now, Poznan's our capital, so it's not a bad decision. We might want to move that, to be fair. I mean, Krakow is rapidly approaching it in terms of money and it's far higher dev once Krakow hits a bit more dev we'll move it uh, yeah lads go fight each other have fun could hold court problem is with our combat of traits holding court just tends to make us stressed Murder a rival for relaxation. Do we have any rivals? We do. I mean, first off, we can release our Angram. Should we try and murder him? I feel like we should try and murder him. No one want in? Can do that. I mean, it's not impossible. Oh, they've come back once again for our caravan master. The bear of Poznan needs a worthy of successor. Do we not have one? Then let's seek someone worthy. A 
That dude is not great at anything. He's not great at anything. Guys, you are not getting on my cancel. Um, she's considered a master and she wants to weave something. Yes. Go weave stuff. Weave like you have never woven before. There's no need for a dedication. We'll take the prestige. Um, yeah, we'll bash out whoever that lady is. Uh, I lose a bunch of stress. That needs upgrading as well. That's probably not something we're holding on to long term. Oh, oh, we have a worthy successor. Sir, congrats. We are the champions, indeed. Lando, he is a Lando. Honey. Fancy uh, giving us another baby, please. Be quite handy. Oh, oh, oh. To get you in. Yeah, we're not really the plotting type, are we? We're a bit inept, really. Pope, gold me. Thank you. God, we got that just in time then. Right, we probably do need to give her a reasonable education then on the hope that she turns out useful. She is currently our only option. I mean, ultimately, actually, what we want to do is... We need our wife to do it. To convert culture. Could try seducing her. Yeah, we've got to finish this murder plot first, though. Denmark, go home, you're drunk. I've been seeking information about your auspicious ancestor, Chieftain Alpha of Vinglemork. What a great name for a place. And I've found information that would potentially make him worthy of being deemed a saint. Excellent work. Let's get more piety. More learning. Control growth. Interesting. Uh, she's going to get a stewardship boost. Wait, wasn't that guy a pagan? Maybe, maybe he was just pretending to be a pagan. See, now that is a very nice tapestry. That is legitimately lovely. Thank you very much. That shit is going on the walls. Upgrade. Do 
the explored planes. So that one we're not fussed about the upgrade on. That one is now upgraded. I think that one the next. Need a new Chancellor. You, sir, are relatively rubbish at it, but you're also a powerful vassal. Faith conversions, do it. Right. Let's give this a go, shall we? feel like we shouldn't gain stress trying to kill him. We are so bad at killing people. On the plus side, our daughter is... Anyone want to give us 40... I'm not going to even ask who's paying 40 ducats for my um, daughter's milk tooth. I don't really want to know. She's now the princess of fashion. She's been good for us in stress relief terms. Man and his scaly wife are an annoying... Uh, can someone not be imprisoning my daughter? My sister. Honey. <gasps> Fears are unfounded. <laughs> Every time she gets pregnant, we're like, and you're sure it's ours. It's definitely ours. Slavia when? I don't know if we will Slavia. I think we might just try and stay. Yes, feast. Yes, please. He doesn't plan on murdering us. Um, I, I kind of like the idea of just playing relatively tall with this one. So what's our danger location? Uh, forest. So if we just get some forest guides. Is there anywhere worth going to on the way back? We could do a bit of a loop. Now, I, I feel like this character's quite dull. Like, he doesn't really go out and explore the world a lot. Like, he's, he's obviously quite book smart because of his... Um, High stewardship, but could pass that. Yeah, he's also paranoid, so he's like he's not going far. He's like callous and paranoid, so it's like he's not gonna go far from home. A lot of vassal wars I'm not overly happy about. Oh, oh. King Ludwig died. Queen of East Francia. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. That's very bad news. I can just leave him to his fate. <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Win 270 stress. How does that work? I 
Uh, I was oh knowing because dude face here is married to dude lass here, which means that kid is currently heir to the Kingdom of Greater Moravia and the Kingdom of East Francia. Which, I mean, yeah, it's not often you actually see the HRE form in this game, but it might be about to fucking form. Which does mean we probably do want to declare war on him. At least get our territory back now while we can. I mean, I'm not against the HRE forming. It's potentially quite useful for us in the long term. But, um... I think what we do want to do is just make sure we've got our bits of Poland before it does. It makes it more interesting if the HR reforms. I feel like our character's a bit of an asshole. You lose 145 stress, yes please. Is it me or is our stress gain and loss just utterly jack? Uh, we do have a worthy successor. Very worthy successor. That dude is good. Oh. Might be headed to an Allen, you know. Alap. <laughs> Paranoid and reclusive means going to activities is a bad idea. Yeah, it's not great for us. Uh, our mother died, so that's some stress for us, because we're so good at handling stress. Yes, we killed him! Well, that worked. Let's put you back on preventative work. A little fucking thought, Bishop. Right, I definitely think we want to declare war on this dude. While we've got the troops for it. Well, we need to be illustrious. How close are we to it? We're not far off illustrious. Let's get ourselves up to lust illustrious, because then we can just go straight after... That duchy, which is basically everything we need. Paranoid is an absolute bitch, stress wide. Yeah, it's why I'm not a huge fan of it as a trait. Right, we need to get ourselves some prestige. How are we going to get ourselves some prestige relatively quickly? We need a thousand prestige. Uh, we can't raid anymore. Because we are Catholic. I don't think Catholics can raid. Holy War. I 
I mean, we could smash the Prussians. Paranoid and Shy. Paranoid and Shy is the worst combo. Hands down. Absolutely hands down worst combo. I mean, we could do some kind of a activity. A successful hunt would do it, but then basically we're just going to be massively stressing ourselves. Cecilia, any ideas? No, just going to snooze, eh? Should be able to raid. I'm pretty certain I can't. Well, apparently we can raid. I stand corrected. So we raise all men at arms. Not losing money, which is the main thing. Let's go raid some people. Raid the Danes, some of their own, teach them some of their own lessons. Oh, Queen Anger has Prego again. Go around this way. There's uh, some decent gold up here for raiding. Do we need to command the raiders? I don't think so. There's a 1% chance we die if we drink this questionable potion. We're definitely not a very good guy. Supposedly the strongest potion in existence and comes only from the farthest reaches of the world. Or so said the merchants and alchemists. So it grants vigor and long life. Sure. We're giving some seriously bland kids. I mean, to be fair, she's the only one with a vague trait, so it's not that surprising.
Uh, game, don't tell me I've got a Royal Court event when I don't have a Royal Court event, because it's really annoying. Bring me bounteous plunder. All the plunder, chat. All the plunder. She's very competent. Eh, fine. I was going to use that gold for another upgrade, but it's probably worth it. Lady, I literally just funded you. Now, if you want to marry some fucking farmer, that's fine. Just bring me an artifact. We should probably get back for supply reasons. Yep. Pretty certain I shouldn't be able to raid Gdansk. Like, it's literally my territory. Could start a legend. We could go after the Saintly Deeds one. I kind of feel like we want to get our territory upgrade in first, though. We'll do that, then we'll do the legend. Right, that got us halfway there, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, Cecilia getting scritches. Oh, a carp pond. That's a good way to lose children. Very competent. It's a metalsmith, fine. I feel like this guy's become the funder of things. Uh, they will split up. We could do a series of small wars just to lock this stuff out. Should we do that? I feel like we should do that. Like that would give us some... Haven't died of stress yet. No, we've somehow managed to avoid dying of stress. Which is more more of an achievement than you'd think. In the grand scheme of things. Fifth Polish War of Wellet was there, yeah. I mean, Denmark's not that tough. I think at the very least we should boot Denmark out of our neighbourhood. Denmark can fucking do one here. Fuck off, Denmark.
to remind Denmark that this is not their side of the ocean. What's up? I am apparently being raided. Can you keep them to North America? Could do. Hey look, the Danes have turned up. Hello boys. How are you doing? Just thought I'd pop over and say hi. See how siege camp is. How are you going? Just some chat. Just want to chat. With swords. Mwahahaha. Good chat, boys. Hey, hey, we'd chat again. Alan is curious. He's a curious Alan. That's our level of fame sorted. Uh, right, Alan. I mean, we need to culture convert him if he is taking over. Honey. Can you look after little Alan for us? Chat, remind me to keep an eye down here for when Alan converts. Because we then can give him to someone useful to educate. Ryu being alive, we request you stop. Exactly. Go fight a bison. With your farmer boyfriend. Lollards, how very dare. <laughs> we are, as usual, doubting that our wife's kid is ours. God damn it. I invested in her, and what she did was married a stupid farmer and then died. Of course I trusted you all along. I, I, it's just routine. I always ask these questions. Yeah, real inspiration comes from a win within guy. You're an actual army rather than a raider. Because we will have to kill you. Do alright with gold with my armies raised at the moment, which is nice. Don't you dare. Oh, you little shit. I have to kill you for that. 55. We're fine on the... Um... Ooh, some regalia. And it's a masterwork. That is nice. Like, it might not be the greatest masterwork in the world, but, I mean, it gives our spouse opinion plus 10, which is useful given... That we um, keep asking her if, if her kid is, kids are ours. Uh, I think we need famed for the achievement. We need famed 
gear in every position. Zephyr! At least she's comely. I'm legitimately tempted at the moment to put her on the throne. Let's kill them because we can. Hi guys, it's us again. How you doing, buddy? You well? You keeping well? That was a good look for him. Okay, let's build up a bit of gold and get our troop numbers back up. And then we are going after... Damn, Palabia got hench. We are going after King Mojimir here. Because we do want our bit of territory back. Right, this... Let's go Polish. Just give it some Polish. How are we looking on that? Two years. Conversions are on the way. Are we all right on control? We're right on control in the places we control, which is the main thing. Um, just get onto that. Danes are back. Danes are always back. Not convinced they're worth wor worthwhile as alliances. We do need a court physician. Search for that. What legend are we making? We not yet. Is he good? He's Catholic and Lombard. He is decent. Yeah, okay. We do have a couple of legend options. So the saintly deeds of Chieftain Altair of Vinglemork seems to be the most likely. Alan, well done on walking. Good work, child. To be fair, he's an Alan. That's probably the greatest achievement of his life, will be learning to walk. If our previous luck with Alans holds true. Right, what are we flipping to? I feel like we go dip just to get groomed to rule. And maybe thoughtful. And then we want to get over to here and really start boosting our learning. But given that our kids haven't got traits, I think this is going to be useful. And we might even go fertility while we do it. We might have to throw some kids to the carp, but we'll see. P.S. Jenry had legends about King Bolslav the Great. Saint Wojciech, very interesting figures. Yeah, I mean, like, and they're good names. Shit, was we were we in a war? I legitimately did not know we were in a war there. To be fair, I feel like it was reasonably, it was reasonable for me to not know I was in that war. Because apparently it was four drunk dudes having a go at me. Is it a war really? When it's you and three of your mates? But sure. Apparently I'm getting 350 <laughs> prestige from this. Righto. Cool, cool. Um, very competent. Yes, go. Really need to get some building upgrades going, though. We need a war chest. 
Someone died and now is stressed. Oh, it was our really good steward. That's annoying. Sir? You want some conversions? Get that converted. I've got 8k of dudes. So, how many alliances have you got now? I mean, we can beat all of them. I feel like we go for that once we hit 200 gold in the bank. That is an even bigger effect, effect. When they come to hand in their surrender, you just go, oh, we were at war? Yep. Right, Alania is now... Welsh. Um, holy shit, Alania. Right. You're right there, Kitty. That was a big sneeze. Um, okay. Right, we need a genius to educate our kids. A lot of moustaches in our court. A lot of moustaches. Right, we need a genius... We have two in our, we have two in our kingdom. Temperate, diligent, fickle isn't great. That's just trouble waiting to happen. Just wrathful and generous, no thank you. I mean, ideally we need them unmarried. Not a lot of them in the world. So we might just have to go with what we've got. I promise she's 57. So, I'm not guaranteed to live forever. Orthodox, apparently. We we'll just have to gamble a bit, I suppose. Um, I think definitely for Alania. Priority is definitely war with Greater Moravia. We need to get such Bavaria's got hench. Andalus Al Andalus is doing well. Ugh. Burgundy on the map Burgundy on the map is a kingdom, always nice to see. England is England in. Sweden is having some trouble. Can everyone just stop? No, for, for now. I don't need a brooch. Let's focus on what we need to do, which is get some territory off of Great Moravia.
but it is literally the only bit of our kingdom that we don't hold. Or is that more that we actually hold some of their territory? Yeah, let's mock him for being sensitive. There's a bit of Bohemia we don't hold. No, we do hold it. Oh, hang on, no, it is that bit we need. That's showing our existing border, isn't it? And the, this is the actual bit we need, so we do need that. So at the bottom of Ireland, that is uh, County of Gua, which is a Norse one. Which is fine. Leon clinging on. Right, we have enough for war. Let's let's fight this war. Especially as he's busy losing another war. Like he's not the main player in that war, but that's fine. Let's get a Poliana. needs to be done twenty three minutes twenty three minutes then the magic food thing will work don't give me those big eyes Bohemians were kind of assholes to us back then. Raided us and stole our regalia. Isn't that just kind of what everyone around Poland just constantly does? Just raids Poland and steals all their stuff. Now, I think we'll focus. Actually, we could split this force up. Siege. Siege. Murder. You can't break into it. It's designed so that kitties like you can't break into it. Siege, siege, murder, duck. Uh, oh, we got a Polish mace. It's a masterwork weapon. Right, you two join up and go siege that down. You should have stayed on there. I'm an idiot. I assume he'll have some armies turn up at some point. Decent for supply. So go siege down Ratibor. Hey, look, they got an army. Pull back.
Guys! Guys, come back. Just want to chat. Debate me. Debate me, guys. Debate me. Why won't you debate me? Following up as you don't seem to receive my previous message. Exactly. Right, Grim to roll. Sir? I believe the word is yoink. Luna Wolf, thank you for your resubscription. Oh, hey, we inherited a war. Lady, feels like a bad life choice to continue that war. But sure, if you feel that's important to you. Then we can do that. Let's join everyone up. Then we'll split them up, get some supply back. Actually, get full supply there. Just Alan, how you doing, buddy? Honey, can you make our kid Welsh? Thanks. Welsh Allen just dropped indeed. Why do we want Welsh children? I mean, a bit racist. But yes, long goes. By educating them as Welsh, it means we can create longbow regiments when one of them takes charge. Queen Angrad approaches me with a friendly style. My love, have you seen how majestic our Alanya is becoming? She could practically rule this nation with one hand tied behind her back, and I swear by the Lord that she would make you proud. She gives me a side-eye glance. Of course, there is anything I could do to make the idea more, idea more enticing. I'm sure it would let me know and we could come to some kind of arrangement, my fair liege. Anything. Um... <laughs> just basically just straight up in prisoner. Um, is there actually any reason to do this? No way! He cut my wife's head off. Motherfucker. My nephew just cut my wife's head off. Shit, son, you are going down. Oh, new nemesis just dropped. 
Anyway, new wife. Um, kind of need someone who might actually have traits, but also isn't going to... Actually, our legitimacy is probably not bad, is it? Yeah, we could totally get away with um, marrying a commoner. How are we over our MA limit? Presumably we were briefly a culture that allowed us to do so. Yeah, we aren't looking amazing. Um... Whistler is a genius. Got the beautiful Greek lady. A lass from Berkhamstead, yeah. She's chaste, there's no point marrying her. Juliet's nice. Need to definitely not cheat on her. Ugh, at least 400 legitimacy for that. I feel like if we're going to lose that amount of legitimacy, we want smart kids. We'd have to wait 16 years for her. She'd be 47... 53 I mean it's doable we've got the Allens in the meantime Italian top of this, yeah, but she's 38, so we've only got six years of childbearing, which maybe isn't the end of the world. I mean, I know she's only quick, but we could take uh, uh, Ima von Bregenz here. She is a Bregens. Lovely Marshall score. Yeah. 
And yeah, she is lustful. We're not going to take a legitimacy hit for doing it. I think we go with that. I mean, we could grand wedding, but I don't think we need to. Ooh, we will get Alania as our designated heir. I mean, Alani is not bad. Oh, she got shy. Sorry, Alania. Mario Connor is now terrible for legitimacy. Yeah, I really like that change. Um, it's what it's basically done is it's made it so there's genuine consequences to marrying a commoner. Like you can get away with it if you're powerful enough, you know, in control enough, and everything else. But it's not just a a standard thing. Also, I do feel like this is in character for us because we are an asshole. Like, we would be the guy that goes, well, technically she didn't finish a job. Um, oh, anyway, shit, we're at war, aren't we? We should do something about that. To betroth your daughter. You want to marry my daughter? You creepy old dude. I'd have to kill a lot of your children, though. Also, that dude is now king of Germany, so... No. Right, we really don't need everyone to win this war. Just costing us money for no reason. Uh, guys, go kill them. It's a shame she got shy. If you hadn't got shy, we'd have um, done that. He <laughs> totally would be the... The gift of my company is enough, guy. Uh, we need a wet nurse. Wet nurse! She is 32 and good, so yes. New steward required. God damn, you're back, brother in law. Good to see you. Steal a siege. Should be enough to end the war, I thought. We are a very lazy man. We are a very lazy and selfish king. We just spend a lot of money on adventurers. And cup of bed and then coffee's tea. Nice. Uh, not not quite enough to win the war. Let's siege down primary then. Given that we have a thirty-five advantage military engineer, ho 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 ho. Head of faith would grant a claim on Bavaria. I'm good, thanks. Absolutely ransoming you. Who the fuck are you? Oh, okay. Oh, 
whole ton of people here we should just be ransoming. The hide of the wild row of Kanangila. It's not really that magnificent, let's be honest. One might say it's the kind of thing we uh, get rid of. Come on then, we'll go sledding. I do like Alanya. It's a real shame that she got that fucking shy trait. Pope is hot claims are in your area. He is indeed, isn't he? Okay, war's over. Right. Let's just double check that Bohemia is not looking healthy. Uh, in my Turkish run, when the first ruler died, I had legitimous uses and had to let some vassals to get independent. Ten years later, I defeated Greeks and got legitimacy to say, you guys wanted to be a vassal again. Yeah, well, we noticed that... Um, with uh, this guy's dad is legitimacy really does contribute to people wanting to be part of your kingdom which is pretty good he is a master weaver so we are going to have to sponsor that uh, meanwhile there's that stupid hide of the wild whatever some money um We need to educate Sophia. Geniuses still in court? No. If the hatchery does fall, we could try and get Alanya in there by marriage. True. Marietta Lando? Yeah, she'll marry Lando. Shouldn't she be in my court? Is she not married to Lando now? Someone is trying to kill me, chat. I'll we'll assume it's my nemesis. Culture comes in any form, let them read. Right, do we have any other places we need to upgrade? Krakow is a 2 tier 2 holding. That's a tribal tier 2. That one we're not bothering with. That's a tribal tier two. Labutz is decent and we probably will keep hold of that. So let's go and upgrade on that. Because it is part of Polonia. We go through Poznan Bears really quickly, yeah. We need to educate her. Alan. Zero trait, Alan. Run! Run, little kitty. Run like the wind. The feeder has gone off.
as Alania got shy switching the genius. I mean, the thing is, Alania is still not necessarily, definitely not going to be our ruler because she is quite good on that stewardship score. I'd much rather find a different genius if we can find another genius. Like, she should... Well, I don't get why she is not... Like, this should happen. And she should join. There we go. Yeah, we'll take the renown. So we could probably start working on a legend now. And then we do building upgrades. Oh, fuck me. This guy just definitely just... Oh yeah, we still need to kill the dude who cut our wife's head off. Uh, the bear needs a successor. Get you in on that. Push to that. Come, darling, leave the expert alone. Who else wants in? Sir, join the party. We stress so easily. It is very annoying. Oh, it's okay. It's masterwork, but didn't really do much. Ugh, Yom's Vikings. Special pet option, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my king, I have searched the records and found some information that would indicate your line can be traced all the way back to the great Trojan dynasties. Some people might find this a little far-fetched, and it would take some effort to prove to be true, but there is strong groundwork there to make you a living legend. Tell me more. Shocker! Okay, we're going for Trojan Descent. What do we need? 240 gold. Uh, stay with me and let's fuck. Oh, fuck's sake, dude. Just let me save up my gold. I want to be a Trojan. <laughs> it's like just Spider-Man pointing at each other because we're both trying to murder each other. And, um, well, that's just not going to work now, is it? It's just going to stress us out, so fuck you. Right, how are we dealing with this dude? He is, I guess, within our realm? No, he's not within our realm. He's in... Oh, he's in... He's in our brother's realm. The sledging gives you an unfortunate weakness to large presence, probably. We kill his children? Just to annoy him? So he gets some renown for having that, which is nice. 
promoters get good stewardship on it. Quite a lot of maintenance per month on it. We can afford it though. Invaders County. I can't reach my brother. 0 0.020 per month prestige. Thanks, guys. These masterworks don't feel very masterworky. Oh shit, I have another daughter. I completely forgot about my other daughter. She is ambitious. Let's give her the murder. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Um... Who's been conquering? Guys, what have we talked about in terms of Jesus? Poland seems to be getting bigger. Worryingly bigger. Overly convinced I want Poland to be this big. Thrifty clerk. So we're close to quilted armor. What you doing under there? He's apparently a, you know, that Prince of Fashion event is way too common. Lost our good spy master. Let's go with her. We have a lot of tapestries. I feel like we should open a tapestry shop. I think we're definitely going for Trojan Descent. Because that sounds cool. P.S. to plush and exotic tapestries. Basically. Let's do it. So 50% chance gain access to the legendary palace option in the clear ground grounds for a legendary palace decision. A great and vast palace with surrounding gardens and hunting grounds. This luxurious abode not only provides comfort and entertainment to any ruler staying in it, but also functions as a status symbol of wealth and power. Nice. That sounds fun. You get a legendary shrine with that one. Pfft, priests, who cares? Legendary statue. Which is okay. Legendary palace, though, is... So if you pull it off to a lustrous level, gaining access to the Expand the Kingdom decision, allowing you to immediately de jour drift a duchy title into your realm. Nice. 
No, I can't strip my nemesis. He's not in my kingdom. He's in my brother's kingdom. You still get a 50% chance of the legendary palace. With mythical. And access to consolidate the kingdom decision, allowing you to immediately de jure drift a kingdom into your realm. Again, the legendary palace option guaranteed. You may select the heritage and language from your legendary cup. Oh shit! Nice, that's really useful, because normally don't you have to split those two? You can go with both. Gain a claim on every existing du jour title inside of West Slavia. Damn, these things are good when you put them off. YOLO. King Matthias of Poland was born to a great Trojan lineage to rule the kingdom of Poland as his forebears would have. Would they? Upon hearing vague rumours that plagued the land, Matthias set his heart to accomplish the difficult endeavour. Matthias's legend culminates in a marvellous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter. For they wished to see the legend in the flesh. However, that was not the end of the tale. For when Matthias made his way home, he helped those in danger, and avenged their affronts. Bandits, beasts, and evildoers could not hide from the fury of his blade. With tremendous labour, King Matthias of Poland works tirelessly to turn Kingdom of Poland into a vision of Trojan perfection. Thanks only to the legendary deeds of Matthias, the people of the Kingdom of Poland cry out in pride of their Trojan roots. Yeah, this is this like every single one of our vassals would be like, this guy's full of shit. Oh, I see. Okay. So we can't complete it for five years. We need to spread it to a hundred baronies. This is the a bit right to fanfic side hustle, yep. Yeah. Okay, we need her to, I think, Command Legend Abroad. No, I think we get her to do Domestic. Legendary Watchtower. Ooh, that's nice. This enormous towering monument is not merely daunting its present, but is also a highly defensible fortress in its own right. It is used to defend the realm against would-be invaders. Nice. Uh, pretty accurate real life, since one of the first Polish chronicles was heavily inspired by Plato and the story of Atlantis. I mentioned Poles beating up armies of Alexander and Romans. Yeah, well, you get that a lot. You get that whole thing, like the whole... Britain being founded by Brutus, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, sweet. Okay. We need to spread our legend, chat. Do you reckon we can persuade our brother to get into it? Our brother's like, fuck off. So tell me, my lord, my caramel van master Alexandra's voice snaps me out of my thoughts and I find her waving the hand. About that time you began the annexation of King Wajimir, held by King Wajimir Great, that surely is worth adding. Um, 
There's a 15% chance everyone remembers and you gain recent memory. Legend spread chance. I mean, we're going to have to go for it. <laughs> People, unsurprisingly, are not convinced. Um, right, we need neighbouring rulers that don't hate us. Unsurprisingly, Mojamir doesn't. Needs to be either of Piast Dynasty, a friend or lover, owner of a county neighbouring the legend, or know the lectic language and be able to spread the legend. Interesting. Be handy to have something that tells you who can spread legends. But yeah, now we need to be doing some befriending. Kinda wish we hadn't switched away from diplomacy now. Because it turns out befriend is actually quite useful again. It's just a Berlin flat tower. I might visit the Berlin flat tower while I'm in Berlin. Quite fun. Been there before, it's an incredible place. Uh, uh, yawn. It's going to be a bit of an early finish today, by the way, chap, because um, I desperately need a nap. So, yes, you want people who can speak your language. Also, the Romans themselves as Trojan fanboys via Aeneas. Yeah, definitely. People you're fucking or people who like you. So that's only there at the moment. The legacy of Arthur Pendragon. Deed for Gautzke. That's the sons of Rurik. Great deed for the kingdom of West Francia. Couple over there by the look of it. It'd be quite handy to be able to see language. Our court language is lectic. So, yeah, so it's basically just us, isn't it? That's really interesting because it suddenly makes court language a lot more <coughs> a lot more important. Because having people who can speak your language means you can spread. Any advice to keep plates under control? Um, I mean build hospital buildings when you can hide behind your walls make sure you have lots of children That's about it really plagues are meant to be devastating oh, do we want to marry Alania off I retreat to my chambers one evening, exhausted and weary from yet another day of tedium and monotony. So on the edge of sleep, I am suddenly stirred awake by the shrill skeech screeching of metal on its own. I shoot awake and see a shadowy figure at the edge of my bed. His toothy grin, the only illuminated part of him, I can see clearly. I cannot move. I can only stare as he steps towards me, dagger in hand. Then suddenly I wake once more. He has marked me with this visit. I fear that I will be collected by death very soon. A fate I must change. Um, so I gain a 15% chance of legend spread, which is nice. Discount towards upgrading your legend increases slightly. I must become immortal. Rumbaloon and of high chief. Oh, he's going for the kingdom of Lithuania. Is he indeed?
All is dark around me. Just ahead, a solitary light is there in the distance. Like instinct, I walk across the void towards that single spot of light, until I am greeted by a lone figure dressed all in white who just looks, who looks just like an older version of me. He smiles at me with a kind of warmth only a father can give and invites me to sit beside him. Basking in the warmth of his presence, I feel an inexplic inexplicable elation and peace. Do you know why I made mortals die, Matthias? It's what separates you from me. You know how precious life is. Your eternity in heaven is coming. But for now, there are people below waiting for you. Discount towards our Grenier legend increases. We change a legend chapter. Get way less stress game, which is quite nice. An ex existential crisis. I feel like we don't want that. So basically, okay, we're going that. God damn, son. How much territory have you been quietly eating? We're going to need to go to war with him to get our territory back. We finally have a midlife crisis option yet. As usual, we will attempt to discover if our wife has been shagging anyone else. Why change the habit of a lifetime? Of course I trusted you, dear. Can you murder him? Anyone want in? Uh, we need a new court tutor. Oh, that's the other thing you can do for who is asking about plagues is don't forget your court physician has a um, reduction of plague option. Yeah, he's good, he'll do. It's getting resting again. She might be resting elsewhere. She's not in the room with me at the moment. I feel like we're a somewhat disappointing ruler. We've not done terribly. We've also not done, like, amazing things. We're definitely not our father's son in the sense of uh, his flamboyance and honour. Oh, God. How many bland children are women going to give me? If we're lucky, that'll kill Kale. And herbalist. I mean, he's not, he's not bad. We've had worse Allens. I 
Germany formed. Yeah, Germany is on the map. We have had worse Allens in the grand scheme of things. Do it. Do it now. Damn it. Try again. Good one, Boslaw. Don't forget the stress loss learning perks. Yeah, that actually would be quite useful for this ruler. Um, it was mostly just I wanted to make sure we get um, stuff. Volchek, my neighbouring ruler, could well be swayed to support my cause. The wrong phrasing. So we go with a subtle threat. Perhaps a subtle threat. Nice. He started spreading it. How are we looking on that? Yeah, we've got some spread on it. I'll tell you what I do like is this does mean that if you want to get something like the mythic or the legendary, the fame statuses, it is a, a, a fair bit of work by the look of it. Like you can't just get that. And he was gallant, and she was beautiful, and he was a hero, and she was beautiful. Doesn't take long to discover where the music is coming from, as I soon find Perrine playing tunefully her lute leaning on a stone bench. Ah, my lord, her eyes immediately light up. Isn't it true that the reason you're for your legend was to impress Scholastica? I mean... How dare you, I did it for myself. <laughs> that's, like, that's exactly what we would say. He was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Yeah. No! Uh, we can go to someone else's grand wedding. Where is it? Oh, okay, it's over there. Oh, we could do that. Guessing, take some mercs. We could, while we're there, I mean, we could come back down this way. Uh, is there anything worth it? Not really. Let's just join it. May their union be as rotten as a month old fish. We're going to be fun at this wedding. Yeah, we would absolutely trample him. We would totally try and burn their holy tree. We would force him to come home with us because we are not a nice person. Uh, explore the forest ourselves. We are a bit of a dick, aren't we? I am not interested. I'm getting 270 fucking stress from that event again. I forgot we spoke Norse. Yeah, we'll probably do that when we have enough gold. No, I can do it. Yeah, I do. I'm just slightly saving it in case we do have to do a disinherit. Like, I'd like not to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe 
maybe a stylistic hint or two wouldn't go amiss. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, right, what plagues in what hot plague is in our area? Flock of birds. I suppose it's because we're in nearby plague lands. That's not fun. Oh, good. He died before we had to kill him. That was useful. Hello, kitty. No, the magic food thing's not going to go off again. You can bang at it all you want. It's not going to go off again. I like the plague icon. Yeah, it's really good. How do I know? The food thing is magic. I mean, she is convinced it's magic. Doesn't help that occasionally like one or two little bits will get caught in it. And therefore she'll... Um, Managed to dislodge them, and she'd be like, "Ha ha!" Right. What are we doing with Alania? We have a real problem with lack of traits in this family. We don't need any alliances. What we need is decent people for our future rulers to marry. So I am kind of tempted to keep her around and go for a trait marriage. Because we are in sore need of some fucking good traits in this family. He's not bad. We could land him. Cover it up. Trait farming is harder. Trait hard farming is way harder, and I'm very much here for it. Big fan of that. Um, let's see if there's a role we can give her. She should be good at something. She wouldn't be bad at that, so let's make her that. Like how cat scraping noises fit CK3 background audio. Yep. The wedding banquet has started. We'll praise the party. We're a party animal. Ignoring everything that's going on and focusing on the entertainment. Not along without paying attention. We are not the kind of man who pays attention to anything. Perrine continues to jot down more and more tales from Trojan descent. Till suddenly she pauses and says, Now I did hear one rather interesting story, she begins slowly. A certain drinking contest with an ogre. How might be our hero did? Oh, we could, yeah, we could totally... Actually, no, we can't. <laughs> Just... <laughs> like the worst trip. Gain a... Oh, man. Can you imagine? A three-year hangover. Fuck. We've got a three-year hangover chat. Can you imagine? That would be the worst. I mean, Alan's 15, 
and he's not got the worst stats. Do what you must do. My eyes widened when Sedges led a goat into my chambers. The foul smell of its flatulence made me cover my nose, but the physician pulled my hand away. Apologies, my lord, but this is the treatment. You recommend in deep breaths. I thought it would be impossible to feel worse than I already did. But Sedges had sure proved me wrong. He just fucking brought a goat into my bedroom and made me inhale goat farts. <laughs> And I know I shouldn't like our character because he has just been a bit of an idiot and a dick his whole life. But he has done, like, forced a relatively strong kingdom. He's definitely not his father's son. <laughs> Poor dude's got, like, a three-year hangover. Fairly certain our character would kill this guy. I think he absolutely would kill this guy. Uh, back one once again for a caravan master. Oh shit, he was our court tutor. Oh no, she's dead too. God damn it, that was Alan's um, guardian. Uh, Edwin, you'll do. Does that mean, like, she's not ended up, t that's actually a really nice combo. Zephyr's not looking great. But Nawoja, that's a reasonable combo I feel like Kale needs to not be long of this world right, we're going to need to seek a Position. We can just make Edwin that though. Um, let's seek a physician. Also lost the chronicle. Like, shit, we did, didn't we? Um. And we absolutely need that. Oh, we don't have a good one. Perrine, can you just do that for us? Spread a bit. Did I imprison you? It's not a thank you. So yeet yourself into prison, Kale. No, we would absolutely leave him to his fate. Totally would leave him to his fate. Uh, just some final questions, my lord, and then I can let you go. Uh, 
Hey. Oh, we pulled that one off. Histo fact or histo legend? Interesting. When do we get that slither southwest? Um, a while back, our um, vassals have been extending in annoying ways. It is quite annoying. Uh, an interesting histo fact, just more of a memory from being in Romania, is, is the Romanian crown um, was made of iron, not of um, precious metal. And the reason the Romanian iron crown was made of iron was because it was forged from the melted down guns of the Ottoman forces from which they had seized their independence, which I just think is the most metal thing ever. Like, if you were basically going into the Romanian court, you know, coming from Hungary, empires of Hungary, Russia, or Ottomans, and you were consulting the, the, the king, the king would be sat there with a basically a crown that's like, we don't do precious metal crowns in this country. We do crowns made from your fucking weapons. Like, it sends a serious political statement when you do something like that. It's one of my favourite bits of sort of regalia type kind of thing yeah it was sort of proper like what George R. R. Martin for is going for with the whole you know Iron Throne but like legit that's what the Romanians did the crown is now in um, National Museum in Bucharest it's in the basement if you go down into the basement where they keep some of their precious items you can see you can see the original crown it's fantastic. Um, so we can offer him a thing. Eh. Fine. It's not like I'm short on items. We'll get another regalia. It's fine. We really need to do something about the Mazovians. Alan! 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 Definitely not the worst Alan we've had. I feel like we should ban Alan from being a soldier though. Has he earned a new name? No, he's still an Alan. He wears his Alan name with pride. I legit would not be disappointed if Alan took over, especially as he's Welsh. That's going to give us our longbows. Right, the Mazovians are at it again. We might just have to let him maybe win that war and then we go after him. Get our lands back because he's not got good heirs. If he dies, it's going to go to this dude. It's going to reconsolidate the lands that have just split up. So I think it'd probably be a bad idea. Uh, we just got quilted armor. Does quilted armor get us? Concrete. Armoured footmen. Knights of this culture become eligible for the vanguard. Um, so we are on 6 of 23. We need a lot more of these. A lot more of these. Can someone remind me what percentage of this we worked out that we needed to to get into the new era? 
Oh, look, it tells you now. Oh, fuck yeah. It finally actually tells you how many you're missing. That's a quality of life change. Yeah, it's monthly learning boost. Let's say no to that. Is that a trinket? No, that's a throne room jobby. The old Bavarian scriptures. Definitely not a porno. Sir? Let me introduce you to the concept of poor life choices. Upon it are instructions for a practice called bibliomancy. One might divine their fortune from a passage in a book. Yes. Fear is the mind killer. A coward dies a thousand tiny deaths, yet a valiant man that dies but once. This requires more research. I can fund an adventure, I need more money. Fear may well be the mind killer, but I have faced my fear. Without fear I die but once. Learning boost from... Yeah, that would actually work for us. Jumps us up to 30. What's our wife's learning like? That's decent. Maybe we... Have we got her focused on that? Yes, we do. Cool. Uh, it's both a Dune and a Shakespeare reference. So Dune is the mind killer bit. Um... A coward dies many times before his death, the valiant taste of death, but once is a Shakespeare quote from, I don't know, I can't remember which play it is. It's definitely Shakespeare. I can't remember which specific play though. Uh oh oh yeah may go strong and wise I feel like Poland's a bit too big now I do like that um you get this a bit more now though like just vassals just growing which just gradually increases her power. Let's sway him. How is Krakow looking in size terms? Oh, it's now 12. Nice. Uh, no, I don't need to be seduced by her. I mean, she's decent as well. We have options here, chat, you know. She's sadistic, which... Which was the Shakespeare play with the giant worms. Yeah, that's... um. She's not Welsh. That is true. It does count against her. Oh. Okay. Sure. I'm going to go care to kick your ass, but sure. Um, uh, 
I suspect that means we want to marry her for a decent alliance. It will be quite nice. Jesus, Kazaria, can you um, break up, please? Mind you, none of these are particularly useful. Palabia, maybe, but he's also in a war. Danes are still the Sartre. He's hungry. I have to be the Byzantines, and I doubt they're up for it. And the English. King Seaward. Yeah, could work. You got any kids? Marry him to... Zephyr. Go matrilineal, sure. Right, let's wait for this dude to actually arrive. So what we will do is he's probably going to come by sea. So we'll raise men at arms there because it should give the... No, we'll banish. We'll fight in the old-fashioned way. Should mean the English try and move down and join on that force. God damn it, we need to lose, stop losing chroniclers. Oh, we should actually appoint an, um, one of them now we're at war. Uh, what do we want? We want a chronicler, don't we? Oh, at least we got a good one now. Oh, good. good news is our new Archbishop likes us, that's fine. Yeah, where you at? Oh, he's coming in from that side. Okay. Okay. I see you, bro. I see you. Let's go kill you. The English should follow us. We do have a level 37 commander. I mean, apparently we're just going to smash them. Uh, we have an offer of marriage from Queen Frederica, the child killer of Bavaria. She sounds nice. Um... She sounds lovely. She does sound lovely. She has lived a life. She is a fornicating, irritable murderer who has uh, killed her own children. Uh, she's also an adulterer, a bleeder. She enjoys traveling. She's wrathful, sadistic, and brave. That's fine. Your daughter isn't a child anymore. There is that. Lived a life and taken some others, yep. Do we marry? What do you reckon, chat? A good marriage for us or not? Good marriage or not? Uh... 
I mean Germany, Bavaria. It's not a bad alliance. What does Moravia fuse with on succession? Germany. So we probably do want that as much to protect them as them protect us. It's essentially a counter power block, isn't it? I think we probably do want that. Plus, she sounds nice. She sounds friendly. Right. The good news is, I don't think we really need the English. We can just smash these fools. And they know it. Don't run away. Don't run away. I just want to respond to your letter. I feel like there's a bit of a difference in leader quality in this one. with kids in single combat, yeah. Change his contract. He is in fact feudal. Interesting. So I have some forced partition. God damn, can everyone just stop doing that very fine central indeed I think we'd absolutely try it and piss everyone off spread a bit yeah no I know I know that the ones over here start as feudal which is what did it oh we need a successor uh, sir you can be the successor I test the blade of a sword as my chronicler Dragon and I peruse the armory in Poznan. It's sharp and well honed. Dragon, however, is more interested in another weapon hanging from the wall. Uh, Polish mace gains a random positive modifier. We're not very good at this legend thing. Let's make a chest. Forge regalia. He's very. We are going to sponsor him because we are short on regalia. Um. I think she's a bit busy, mate. How's the Ark and Plague? I think it's still plaguing. It's the German pox. Small pox, so that's fun. No, we lost our really good marshal. Uh, yeah, you'll do. 
powerful vassal. Let's keep him happy. How you doing, pal? Feeling a bit possessed? Oh, there's a 99% chance we pull that off, so... Take the Renown. Yeah, okay. Fine with me. You want to marry her to Alan. It's the Queen of Scotland. Got a lot of troops. Oh yeah, Alan grown out of beard. Alan don't. Alan don't. I mean, there is prestige in it. A certain amount of gingers sticking together. It's not a bad one, really, because of the alliance. Assuming. No, because then that's his niece. Her niece, so the alliance isn't going to roll over. No traits. Yeah, we, we can be less picky about traits now. That's the problem. Singers occupied a wooden dice feeling the nightmare music. Take a sip of my sliver of its, close my eyes and sell myself a moment of rest. Am I worthy? Damn right I am. The water rises from the depths of the spring, small bubbles break upon the surface. I look down into the blue and see my own reflection. Strong, handsome, worthy, really? King Mateus, I turn around to see Jarl Stein standing right next to me. Please tell me of your legend. I've travelled many days and nights to hear it. Really enjoying the depowering of trait hunting? Yeah, definitely. Agreed. Very much agreed. Like, you can still do it. It just, you've got to be much more clever with it. Mate, she's in jail. Uh, ooh, we can increase quality. So, there's a 50% chance at that point that we get the Legendary Palace. So we absolutely are increasing that quality. We need it to spread to another 200 baronies to be able to guarantee we were going to the next stage. Not convinced we'll pull that off before, I, before we die, but we can try. Anyone we can befriend. We don't have befriend, that's the problem. It do, befriend is now way more valuable. The key thing is not dying without that being completed. Uh, nearby plagues. Uh oh. King Dobramil's Flux. Jesus, imagine having a bloody flux named after you. Got a major one there. You can inherit legends. Ah, oh, that's good to know. That is good to know. Sir, can you endorse us please? Uh, 
and there's uh, achievements for doing that, completing and holding a funeral for the protagonist. In the distance, I hear my son Kale laughing at play with his fellows. What, in the dungeon? <laughs> I'm King Mateus of Poland. I'm the hero. Oh, kid, sorry. <laughs> oh, kid, no. <laughs> he's just telling everyone in the dungeon. All the, He's telling all the children in the dungeon how amazing his dad is. His dad who put him in the dungeon. I feel like like we'd just be like whatever, Kale. Yeah, it's not even real children. Don't forget he's possessed. Like he's just seeing fictional children in his in his cell. Ten out of ten for optimism, yeah. Uh Zafia has come of age. We have been churning out the Midas touched kids. Okay, that's better. It's okay. I mean, I'm not going to swoon over it, but it is okay. And it is a masterwork, which is the key thing. So I think we need to have masterwork in every position for the achievement, I think. Uh, our wife is Prego. At 42. Oh man. Could he take holy orders? If he lives to 10, we might see if he takes holy orders. Oh yeah, you got detitled, friend. In your face. Palabia is uh, reunited. Who are you? Oh, our nephew. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's good. Located multiple records that attest that the High Chief Piast of Polonia was more than a mere. He was, ruler, he was rightful ruler. His right as ruler of Kingdom of Poland was given by an angel. Yeah, that's no, that's absolutely true. Totally true, dude. Famed or illustrious? Good to know. Because famed is above masterwork, isn't it? Apparently we can create the Kingdom of Bohemia. Good to know. Yeah, famed is blue. Um, illustrious is purple, is it? I think illustrious is purple. Well, um, grey, green, blue, purple is the order, I think. Invited to a hunt. Probably not. 50 years old. Seemowit, we finally got a kid with a trait. Oh no! How sad, Kale died. Oh well, never mind. I probably didn't want athletic, but guess we've got it now. Uh, Alan, what are you up to? Princess Manu has appeared in court accompanied by a vast array of exotic animals and has already performed incredible works of charity through the streets. As much as the court is abuzz with enthusiasm for this exotic princess, 
Everyone is convinced. My spy monster, Wieschlaw, complains to have never heard of the distant land the claims the problem it claims to be from. She is a 16-year-old hale seductress who is a fortune builder, calm, stubborn, and zealous. And she's got 1,500 gold. Hi. To be fair, it would be very on brand. It would be very on brand for Alan. For an Alan to be deceived into marrying this woman. Let's be honest, this would be a very Alan thing to do. And of course, the Aladdin reference, yep. I think this is what would happen. Also, I think we're now drunk. Could host a grand wedding. I don't want to force her to convert. I mean, we we have to grand wedding them, I think. Yeah, Tajix gets his IRs. That Tajik is nice. Hit him with a grand wedding on a budget. Yeah, maybe that would be very in character for our guy as well. And welcome to the stream, Cozy Muse. Don't need them. Especially as we can spread legend at it. We'll go with the average on stuff, that's fine. We are very stressed now. It's now 141 baronies, that's not bad. Costing us a lot in maintenance. A lot in maintenance. We're good. It's going generally well as a run. Our air Alan is making bad life choices, but that's fine. This is right. Very competent. I'm going to hold off on that one for now. Get out of the bin. Out of the bin. Come on. You don't need to be in the bin. You're not a starving kitty. Come on. Come on over here. Ah. Do 
Don't need to be rooting through bins. Now, just because I've just moved you away from the bin, don't be jumping back in it. There's nothing in the bin that's edible. Uh, how does our succession look? I mean, we've got Alan and we've got Seymour here, who does need to be educated by someone useful. Let's see how he goes. Oh, our old foe stopped promoting our legend. Growing crowd of commoners, kick them out. Look, I can hear you climbing in the bin. Stop it. Come on. You're that hungry. Where my court deals only in lies and falsehoods, I've found that those who claim to be willing to tell me the truth. They live with me in my head. They say no what the truth was. Do they really know? Yet yeah, can you not step on keyboards, please? I feel like we definitely would go lunatic. Palavia is having a perfectly normal one again. Let's see if we can get people spreading the legend. Legendary Feaster. Yeah, we'll do that. medium health boost and we're no longer overwhelmed by stress so that's fun and get involved what you doing get out of the bin out out out. Climbing in bins. Honestly. Yeah, we'll go for the enjoy his friendship. Why not? A good feast, I think, Charles Mojimir. Plenty of thought into making an experience without losing sight of the important things. Becomes our friend, that's useful, because if he hasn't finished spreading things, he will. Let's try anyway.
How can an infidel like her be trusted? She will twist Alan away from God. Give it time. Grant them a moon together before you pass such judgments. Yeah, what of it? Leave love to the bards. It's in God's hands now. I am known as King Matthias the Brilliant. We very much are not the Brilliant. My presence here must not be overshadowed. Yeah, we would be doing that as a character. Oh, nice. Uh, they finally changed the wording on that to legendary figure. Rather than legend amongst men or whatever it was. I like that. That's much better. So, Alan married. Do much good for our legend. Yeah, not bad. 326. Is it 400 we need to upgrade it again? That would be nice, because that would allow us to immediately de jour drift a kingdom. We'd form Bohemia and drift it in. So that would be nice. Lotharingia, Italy. Longeringia. Let's be honest. The Grand Tour. Um, what we really want to be doing is making sure everything that can be upgraded usefully is upgraded. And we're definitely not keeping that. No, well, maybe we are. It'd be nice if we could. Markets. HRE incoming. It's possible, I think. I don't think it's guaranteed, but it is possible. I forget what the conditions are for forming the HRE. But I suspect Lotharingia is not far off of it. Scotland and England. Looking very Scotland and Englandy. Get ourselves some heroes of old. Nice. So we've kind of we basically spread it all the way throughout our kingdom, so we need to flip. him to commend legend abroad do we need a wet nurse yes My nephew is asking whether he should spread it, but we've kind of already spread it to his kingdom, haven't we? What kind of person is he? He is temperate, vengeful, and compassionate, so he probably would like a uh, bit of revenge. I know he's got some territory it's not spread to, so that's fine. Um, we need a wet nurse. Not search. Yep, yeah, she's excellent, so we'll have her. He's only one at the moment, so we don't know what he's going to be like. Hmm. 
Niemst. Good to see you. Hope you're well. One eight six. Zafia has popped out a baby. Good for you. And the nice thing is we know it's spreading in Greater Moravia. It's very curious, my liege, very curious indeed. I'm not sure what to make of it. Can you fathom it, perhaps? Dragon presents me to Vellum dug out some dusty nook in an ancestral home. I peer at it quizzically. I'm not sure what he means, particularly. Look, your lineage doesn't show up anywhere on this list. Dragon clarifies with what he's sure he thinks is helpful charm. In reality, it simply darkens my mood further. This could be seriously ill news for my, my legitimization attempts. <laughs> we can basically murder him. I feel the in-character option is us just basically straight up murdering Tragan. <laughs> I feel like that is the in-character option. Oh no, we don't actually murder him. We just tell him to uh, to fucking destroy it. Which we absolutely would do. So yeah, no, we're definitely doing that one. That is 100% what we would do. Skill is merely decent, very competent. Yeah, I'm good with that. We kind of need to start thinking of building up a treasury. How you doing, Alan? Sixty-four percent chance we can get it to start spreading it. It's starting to spread through Moravia. There's still bits of our kingdom it can spread to. Oh shit! Look, it's really done well in England. How close are we to forming West Slavia? Do we really want to? I mean, we're not that far off, really. We'd need a chunk of Germany and some bits around there. How long till Ledger? Two years. Nice. Because that would put us in the point where we can start discovering that. Gain splendid necklace artifact. Ah, fine. Uh, what do we need to go feudal? We need 70% of all military and civic tribal era innovations. So we're not there yet. Gonna be a while on that one. Which is annoying. Let's get me some Know Thyself. Uh, 
Has the plague got to me? No, we've not. We've been touch wood. We've been okay on plagues. England's a legend, different legend with the same colour. Possibly. Yeah, it's the King Arthur one. Oh yeah, it's um, it's levels of uh, legend, isn't it? That's what it is. Ours is spreading beyond our borders now, though, which is good. I feel like we would probably do the cowards thing, pretend we didn't hear him. Ten tribals, yeah. And we are not near. We need another. So we need ledger. It's gonna give us seven. Then we'll need three more. I actually started a French empire to do something before Napoleon's time. Nice. And we can also form Lithuania now. Okay, he's a potential. He is a potential. We need to give him a good education. Are there any convenient geniuses around with good traits? Let's go all inside dip range. Right, so we want inside dip range. They need to be an adult. Probably need to be unmarried. Tush tier here. It's not got bad things that we probably need them to be of our religion, don't we? That limits us further. Eve is not bad. Oh, shy. No, we can't use her. It's a lot harder to hold on to than I thought, so much politics and stuff. And that is the benefit of CK3. Like, the larger your empire is, the harder, the much harder it is to hold, because you are managing a dynasty. It is the best thing about it. Do we gamble on the kid not getting shy? Because she is a genius. I feel like it's not really worth it. That intelligent. Garth has got decent traits. Stubborn, cynical, no, greedy. Kind of want an, uh, an ambitious or a diligent, really. Roberto's not bad. Stubborn, ambitious. I mean, the Craven's not great, but it's not the end of the world.
don't think there's any benefit to converting to Sicilian. I'd be curious how drastic a play can affect the country, its economy, morale, and so on. Yeah, it can be absolutely decimating. I think Lotharingia has got enough to form the HRE. Grandson Math. Yeah, I need Germany, don't I? You've got to have the Germany title, I think. Fascinated by Onagas, which is fine. I believe that Chieftain Bolster as Brassler is almost convinced. That's 229, we're getting there. 230. Still plan to start Transylvania on. I think Transylvania is a formable. I can't remember. I don't think we do that. So I don't think we need Palisades here. Hillside Grazing Lands. That's useful for us. Oh hey, someone's trying to kill us. Fun. You stop whoever's trying to kill us, please. Uh, we would absolutely have tried to take his advantage of his generosity. Can you build me some gathering halls? I wouldn't mind getting a religious icon, it would be quite nice. Um, what else do we want here? Let's go back to diplomacy and get befriend. See if we can't encourage this legend to spread a bit more. Does anyone here share their details on their playthroughs in Discord? It would be fascinating to read about. If people are interested, I'm quite happy to create a, um, a playthrough Discord channel for people to record stuff like that in. Stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler. Uh, we are not going nude. Ah, it's grandkids, who cares? Minu! Alan's wife is trying to murder someone. Murder our champion.
Oh, he's spreading it. It's 252. I think it's 400 we need to upgrade, isn't it? Only 300. Only 300. We're getting there. Uh, I call you on to join me in the war against the tyranny of Queen Frederica. Who's calling you a tyrant, Frederica? Well, that war lasted a long time. Well done. It's definitely fun watching this. Um, oh God, plagues, plagues. The Viriman Boils. Is that what's in our area? Yeah. The Viriman Boils. Basie Measles. Yeesh. I mean, let's see if it reaches us first. Feels like now might be the time to move the capital. Which has got development of 18, despite the fact it's tribal, so none of this counts yet. Let's head to Krakow, shall we? Unsurprisingly, it's my nephew. Shall we murder our nephew? In my PS run I have more than 100 cadet branches now. I'm about 2,000 dynasty members live. Nice! It's crazy how long that dude's lived. Yeah, go for a ride. Yeah, sure, we'll marry that one. That's one that we were going to do. Need a new Chancellor. You will do, sir. That got some hill pastures. Some markets. Tolerant and trusting is a general spread chance, so we'll do that. 268. Probably need to start saving up. We are getting there. The morning chorus of, of twittering birds. I see what they did there. Accompanying down to the cellar. The light of dawn giving way to gloomy darkness, lit only by sputtering flames. I yawn and stretch as I go, my feet padding across the floorboards. Once my eyes adjust to the lack of light, a culinary tragedy is unveiled by them. Apple cores, scattered crumbs, bones, flensed clean of their meat. In shock, I look around the entire room, but everywhere my eyes land, they find yet more evidence. Suddenly, in the corner, a soft, contented burp. Pay me back for that, Zafir. Don't think we need more grazing lands. It's probably gathering halls. Right, we do need to save up there here, because we are kind of getting close to pulling this off. Yeah, 272. Give anyone anything, I need to save my money. we got a legend to spawn.
Need my legends. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to Wojciech alone. Chat, wave your ducks if you have them. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will master smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Did you hear the word duck? She's like, where the ducks at? I heard duck. Oh dear, how sad. It must have been something he ate. <laughs> so we're just totally happy. Well, we're going, we're going out with a shovel. The night air hangs si still and silent. The only noise that can be heard is the scrape of my shovel, dislodging the freshly heaped dirt with ease. Slowly. The heap beside the grave grows larger and the body of Volchek is exposed once again to the fresh air it had been parted from all too recently. I rip the cloth covering off of his face. His lips are parted, drawn back in a rictus grin, and soil and grime still cling damply to his neck as I regard him dispassionately. Grasping the shovel once more, I line it up with that same neck, the metal sharpened by my own hand earlier today is honed to a wicked edge. One stamp, two stamps, three. Skull Bob Goblet, yo. Oh yeah. Skull Goblet. Give me my Skull Goblet. Skull Goblet. Like, have we ever had a prince who isn't the prince of fashion? Right, so we need to maybe try and befend King Lothar. Blames plague on bad air surrounding the dead and dying. I'm proposing that counter a vast field of asters. Do much to dispel this bad air. I mean, basically, just people are slightly happier. Or we can go with Rampant Miasma, one of my favourite metal bands. Three stamps for a whole head. What's the postal service like? Boom, boom. Yeesh, it's getting closer. <laughs> That's a 50% chance. Hey, drunk kid. <laughs> Commoners celebrated would give us control growth. Nobles noted is, yeah, we'll go control growth. We must really be getting to the point. Yeah, we're close to just needing the money for this. Right, money is our priority now, chat. It's all about the money. All about the money, chat.
So basically we're getting there. Yeah, we will do the rebuilding stuff. I think we have survived the plague, that's good. Try to my dynasty, Marwenna. Right eye. Yeah, I mean, free money. Always in favor of free money. Who isn't in favor of free money, let's be honest. I accept your generous offer, Duke. How are we doing for time? Ooh, okay, we need to be finishing very soon. Purchase truce. Sir? You may purchase that. Ooh, okay, okay. Both acting like pets and children. How close are we? Oh, one off. One off. We're going to get this chat. It's going to be nice to get this before, because obviously I'm off for the next two weeks. Well, I'm back tomorrow for F1. But we're, I'm away for the next couple of weeks. Okay. Increase quality. Oh, hang on. Don't we need to form Bohemia first? If we want to du jour drift that in, drift that in. Because it says it allows you to immediately du jour drift a kingdom into your realm. What kingdoms do we hold already? Because we only hold one kingdom title. I mean, Lithuania would feel the appropriate one to drift in. But maybe Pomerania is better. We can't create that. It's a decision. Oh, okay, nice. That's fine, then we can do it. Right. Increase quality. We are at mythical legend quality. Are you ready for this, chat? King Mateus of Poland knew that the coming journey would be perilous, but his path was set from the start. Never hesitating, he plotted a route and a purpose, guided only by the strength of his own will. King Mateus of Poland was stirred in the night by a shocking visit from death. Since this harrowing visitation, Mateus decided to flee that which others would call inevitable and pursue eternal life on earth. Mateus' legend culminates in a marvellous adventure, his great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. However, that was not the end of the tale, for when Matthias made his way home, he helped those in danger and avenged their affronts. Bandits, beasts, and evildoers could not hide from the fury of his blade. King Matthias of Poland was visited by God, who spoke to him directly about the nature of creation and the beauty of a finite life. He emerged from this legendary confrontation a changed man, at peace with the fleeting nature of life and the peace of heaven. Complete. Gain access to the Consolidate Kingdom decision. Excellent. Gain access to the Legendary Palace option in the clear bounds for a Legendary Building decision. Uh, you can take both the heritage and language from your Legendary Culture when you diverge your culture, which is nice. Gain a claim on every existing du jour title inside of West Slavia, because that's our, our Empire title for which we're eligible to. Gain our Legitimacy level to Ordained. Gain the Condition Legend Artifact decision so we can kind of commission a chronicle 
There isn't much about the Trojans in there. Yeah, which is very us when you think about it. Here is the end of the book of King Mateus and of his noble family, Piast, whose fame and legitimacy is known across the whole land. And here is the end of Trojan descendant. Mateus's legend culminates in a marvellous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. And here it was written, Krakow, 25th of November, 928 AD. With the lance I prepare the bold. Well. We should be on this list now, I think. I would guess. No, maybe not. I'll be using the adventure decision to invade Troy. We did do a Carthage run once. So that should mean we now get a few extra decisions. So we can permanently de jour drift something in. So we can basically found another kingdom and de jour drift that in, which is really nice. We will do that. We can clear grounds for a legendary building which unlocks a special building slot in one of our provinces, which is pretty damn cool. So for Legendary Watchtower, you need the Diu Aemon Duat Dynasty Legacy. That's the one that's at the end of that thing, so that's cool. Um, so we would be going for legit, uh, clearing the grounds for a legendary building for a palace. I don't want it in Satch though. I want it somewhere else. Can I choose where it goes? Is that because Krakow's already got a um, legendary slot and you can't have multiple legendary slots? I'm guessing. Or is it in like special slots? Hasn't it got a... Yeah, it's already got one because it's got... Um, university. That's what it is. So it would go... There. Which is not bad. We are going to keep hold of that. It's a random holding without a special slot. Okay, that makes sense. I presume it's a random holding you own. That is a lot of gold. Good building, though. Mm -hmm.